Okay, students, uh, we are going to talk about a very important skill in algebra, that is uh, your ability to change the subject of a given formula. We'll be going stepwise, okay? First of all, uh, the very first kind of um, equations we have over here, like you, you can see on the left side of the screen, we have to make A the subject of the formula. When we say that we have to make the subject of a formula, you must be knowing that what kind of form is that? If you look at this question number five, right now B, capital B is the subject of this formula. If you look at this uh, question number 10, this small x is the subject of the formula. In the sixth question, this M is the subject of the formula, okay? This doesn't matter that the subject of the formula is written towards the left side or the right side of the equation because we, we know that A equal to B is same as b equal to a. Okay, let's start uh, the, uh, I mean, our techniques to change the subject of the given formula. Look at this first question. This is seven over a, that is equal to 14. So you have two expressions. There is no addition, subtraction going on here, okay? So you can start by cross multiplication. I can write this as seven equal to, 14a, this a has been cross multiplied to this side, okay? And now this 14 is going to be, this is going to be seven over 14, that is equal to a, or your a is going to be half, okay? So this, this is basically while changing the subject of this formula, we have actually found the value of a over here, okay? Look at this sixth question now. You have m equal to n over a. So you will first of all cross multiply. This will be a m equal to n. And now this is a equal to n over m. So the subject of the formula is now a. Okay, look at this 14th question. You have t over a that is equal to b over e. So you start by cross multiplication, okay? So this is gonna be t, E that is equal to A B. We just want A to be on this side here. So you will divide both the sides by B. So this will be T E over B. And you can write it as T E over B as well. So this is this formula, the same formula has now A as the subject. Okay. So that is the first, the easiest case where you only uh, you have only cross multiplied to change the subject of the formula. Let me take you to the next step now. Now in this next step over here, you can see there is some addition subtraction going on, okay? So um, let me make some space here. Okay, now if you look at this, um, this um, 21st question. Now this is, we have to make X the subject now. Now this is r over x minus t that is equal to n. Okay, now we should try to keep uh, the terms in x on one side and you should send all the terms which do not have x in it on the other side because our, um, this x has to be make the subject now. So this will be r over x that is equal to n plus T. Okay, now there is, uh, you can write this um, in one step as well, but I'll be giving you in detail. Now, this would become R equal to X into N plus T. So we have performed the cross multiplication here. I have taken this, all of this as one expression here. Okay, so R equal to X into N plus T. And now this X is going to be R over n plus t, okay? And you can also write it as x equal to r over n plus t. This changing the subject of a formula is a very important skill that you should have, okay? In your, like if you keep on uh, like uh, looking at the syllabi of your like 9, 10, 11, and even into the A levels, you will see that you will learn many, many new formulas. You will only have to substitute the values in, into those formulas and evaluate the, the required value. 
So that is basically, that is all about changing the subject of the formula. So uh, this way, uh, if you look at this uh, 22nd question now, it's the same. You will be trying them in a while, okay? But uh, right now, I'm just going to give you uh, the method, okay? Now, this is this 22nd question. Look at this. And this is Q that is equal to B over X plus D. I have to make X the subject. I'll keep this fraction over here and I'll move all the, the terms to the to the other side, okay? So this D will be moved to the other side and this will become Q minus D that is equal to B over X. And now I'll put the brackets around it so that I can consider this as one expression. So the cross multiplication gives us X into Q minus D that is equal to B. Therefore, this X is going to be B over Q minus D. So we have made um, X the subject of this formula, okay? From here, I'll take you to the next level of you can try these questions if you want, okay? And I should show you these questions so that you can practice them, okay? You can take the screenshot, okay? Now, the next level over here, you see that now they're the square roots. So don't uh, be afraid of these square roots over here, okay? Uh, the method is just remember your algebraic techniques how to move uh, different expressions across the equation mark, okay? Now look at this first question here. This is basically um, under root X that is equal to two. So your indices uh, knowledge is required here. You will have to square both the sides here so that you have X equal to four. So now this, this, is, this X equal to four is basically the value of X over here. Look at this sixth question, maybe. This is the square root of X minus E that is equal to H. Now, please remember, you cannot move this E outside this square root, okay? E can only go to the other side only and only until if the square root is removed. So, so your first task is to get rid of the square root. So we square both the sides, okay? So let's square both the sides. So we have X minus E that is equal to H square. And this X is going to be H square plus E, okay? Don't ever try to move anything out of the, the square root or like sometimes people do make mistakes. Like, you know, you have something like X plus A over B and that is equal to C. You see this A cannot be moved to the other side of the equation until and unless this fraction is, uh, I mean, fraction is changed into um, just an expression. So for this kind of question over mm -hmm. here, you will be writing it as X plus A, that is equal to BC. And now you can move this A to the other side, okay? So please remember these things. Okay, now look at this, uh, maybe question number 25 then, the 25th question. Okay, in this 25th question we have here, um, yes, 25th question you have C minus X square that is equal to M. So I can move this X square to the right hand side. So this becomes C equal to M plus X square then I have to move this M to this side. So C minus M, that is equal to X squared. So at this level, you will be taking the square root on both the sides. So C minus M, that is equal to X, okay? So you will take a square root here and you take a square root here. So this is canceled. So this is C minus M, that is equal to X. This is always good to put a plus minus sign in such cases where you are yourself taking a square root, okay? So uh, this, this was the third level of changing the subject of the formula. I can take you to one more level if you want. Uh, I think uh, we shall cover that tomorrow, inshallah. So right now- so Plus minus likna lazmi hai. Yeah, this, this is because when you, whenever you take a square root, you have to write plus minus, okay? If the square root is already there, 
in in your for example you have x equal to the square root of 4 let's say so this is going to be equal to 2 but for example if you have x square equal to 4 and you're taking the square root yourself then you will write it as plus minus 2 okay if if the square root is already there in your equation or the expression you don't need to write the plus minus okay so let me see what is in the next level <sighs> Uh, in your next level, yeah, this in this has more terms, so we shall cover this in in our next next session. Okay, so I think that's uh, it from this level here. We where you can uh, practice these questions here, where you have to change the subjects of the formula. Okay, and we'll come back for the second session. Right now, you need to practice them. Look at this twenty-first question here. Uh, this is r over x minus t that is equal to n. First of all, you will write it as r over x that is equal to n plus t. Then you will cross multiply. This is r equal to x into n plus t. And then this will become, this will be r over n plus p, that is your x, that is your final answer for this. Okay, this is 24th. Uh, first, we move this to this side, h minus t, that is equal to minus b over x, okay? Uh, and then you have h minus d into x, that is equal to minus d. And then you have x is equal to minus b over h minus x. But so you must be brave enough to write this as b over, uh, sorry, this was h minus d. Yeah. You yes, sir, may be the answer. Okay. Yeah, you must be brave enough to write it as b over d minus h. Do you know how this, this is happening? If you multiply both the numerator and denominator with a minus, this minus into minus will make it plus, okay? And this minus into this minus will change the signs here. This will become minus h, this will become plus d. So you can write it as d minus h, okay? Got it, Bacho? It was, let me make some space here and then tell you. It was like this. Um, you see, now you can like, play with this, uh, like if you're really good at this algebra, this is h equal to d minus b over x. You can like, you know, uh, do two steps like this in just one go. If you move this b over x to the other side, this will be positive, okay? And if you move this h over here, this will become a minus. This is another, I mean, a, a quicker way of getting rid of too min many minuses over here, okay? And then uh, I'm giving you a faster way of doing it, okay? Your X is there in the denominator. If you want, you can uh, write the reciprocal of both the sides, okay? So this will become X over B, that is equal to one over D minus H. Like okay, if I ask you that, if you have one over X equal to two, so what will be your X? If I ask you to give me the answer quickly, you see this two is basically two over one. So you can take the reciprocal of both the sides. So this is one over X, this becomes X, and this two over one will become one over two. Got it or not? Hmm? Yes, but now, they can, you will still be getting the same answer if you uh, do it through the steps. Like, for example, if you people are going to do it this way, you do that cross multiplication, you say this 2x equal to 1, and then you get x equal to half, okay? So rather than doing this, you can write the reciprocal of both the sides. So this 1 over x would become x over 1. x over 1 means x. And this two over one would become one over two. So these are the short steps that you can really try. After this, uh, you can move on to the next question, set of questions here. 
uh, yeah, you try these. Let me tell you what questions you should do. You should try maybe these. Sorry, uh, try these questions from here. Okay, you have to make X the subject now. Uh, did anyone try this third question? Yes, Mr. King, what was your answer? Second, third, well, I think you were giving the answer of the third one. Was X minus two, that is equal to three. So you square both the sides, first of all, because this X is trapped inside the square root. So you have to take the squares of both the sides, okay? This is X minus two, square so this will be the square over here so the square root cancel the square okay so you have x minus 2 that is equal to 9 so you have x equal to 11 in the first question okay if you look at the 11th question it is the same this is the square root of d minus x that is equal to t uh, we want to make x the subject so x is trapped inside the square so you have to square both the sides, okay? So I'll square this side, I'll square this side, okay? So these are canceled, so you have d minus x that is equal to t squared. So this uh, is going to be d equal to t squared plus x. So this is d minus t squared that is equal to x, and you can write it as x equal to d minus t squared. That is how you make x the subject here, okay? You can try uh, this up to the 27th question. This will give you a feel that you people are now able to change the subjects in such situations. If I try this, um, uh, maybe 23rd question for you, okay? 23rd question is, x square minus a that is equal to m. So this is quite easy. This is going to be m plus a. And then you have to take the square root on both the sides. So this will be x equal to plus minus the square root of m plus a. Yes, but you any question about this? Hmm? Seven. 27th, you want to ask 27? 7th one? Okay, let me do the 7th one for you. Okay, in this 7th question, uh, this is like the square root of AX plus B, that is equal to C. So you will start by taking the square on both the sides. So this will be AX plus B, that is equal to C square because the square root is canceled with the square. And now this is going to be AX equal to C square minus B. And then your X is going to be C square minus B whole over A. That is how, uh, you know, this will have X as its subject. Okay. Let's move into the next level and then see if you can try some of the questions from there as well. Uh, yes. So here you have to basically take the um, square root and sometimes you have to be careful before taking the square root. Uh, is that, no, this is here. Okay. So you try these <clears throat> questions from here, these five questions maybe. Okay. Try them. Okay, now let me try some of these questions for you. Like if you look at this 31st question here, this is n equal to a minus k square. So since we have to make k square the subject, so I think you can try this thing out. Like, you know, this goes here and this comes here. So this becomes k square and this is a minus n. You can try doing this, Bacho. Okay, this minus k square becomes plus k square and this n goes here and this becomes minus n. So now this k is going to be plus minus the square root of a minus n. 
Uh, I can try this 43rd question for you. You have two pi square root of k plus t that is equal to four. So first of all, we have to remove this two pi from here. So this is the square root of k plus t that is equal to four over two pi. You can write it as two over pi because this two is canceled by this four. You should simplify wherever you can. Now we shall take the square on both the sides, okay? When we take the square on both the sides, this becomes K, oh, this color is not very clear. Okay, this becomes K plus T, and the other side becomes four over pi square, okay? And then this K is going to be four over pi square minus t. That is how you have this k as the subject of this formula. Look at this 39th question carefully. This is the uh, square root of n over k. So first of all, you will take the squares on both the sides. So this will be n over k that is equal to d square. Okay. And again, uh, as uh, you have done here in this Tikana, there is another extra scale, like, you know, this B square can go here and this K can be shifted here. If you want to skip that, uh, I mean, that cross multiplication step here. So this is really a quick step here. This becomes N over B square that is equal to K. This can only be done if you just have one like single terms on both the sides. So that is how you have this K as the subject of this formula. Okay, guys, you need to practice them because it is only the practice that will make you ex expert, uh, that will make you master of all these algebraic techniques. Inshallah, tomorrow we shall do the second level with some longer expressions uh, of the formulas uh, and changing the subject of those formulas. Okay.